So if we move our button to the side here just now, we're gonna add a slider. So if we go to, actually if you just right click the canvas and we choose UI and then we can choose slider, uh, you'll see it's actually added these uh, lines in here. Now the lines, these nice little busy lines actually show us how our game will flow between these controls. So um, we'll be going from the button to the slider and then back to the slider. And it, it, this is if we're using uh, joysticks. Um, that's kind of irrelevant just now. We're really just interested in how we can do the slider here. So once again, our slider has a various uh, options that we can we can set here. We can set our minimum value, our maximum value, the actual current value. So if I move this slider, you see that this one, uh, the the one on screen changes, and I also have here the on screen value changed, and it passes back a single value. In other words, a floating point number. So what we're going to do in our code behind is we are going to have a public void slider change method and we're going to call it new value. Now all of these functions you'll notice are public and there's a very good reason for that because if they weren't public then they wouldn't appear in the list. So I have my slider changed uh, event handler that takes in a floating point number and when I go back to here I can add my event, I can drag my canvas in. And remember my canvas is the one that has a view model attached to it. And I choose my function, so my view model. And then I have two options, I have slider changed here, but I also have slider changed down here. And you notice that it says dynamic float and static parameters. If I chose the static parameters one, the slider change value here, I have to specify the value. So I would type in 0 0.6. So no matter what the value changed to, it would always return 0 0.6. What you want to choose though is, you want to choose the dynamic value. And what happens is the, the parameter gets removed from there, and it's the value that gets set from when the user moves this, that actually gets passed through. So uh, let's just uh, create a canvas or uh, no, 3D object. Let's produce a cube and our cube will be at 0, 0, 0, which is in the center of our screen. And we are going to add a couple of properties to this. So we're going to say public game object cube and vector three, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab the position of the cube and then we're gonna set it to this new value that we have there. So when we move the slider, the cube will move, will move up and down the screen. Um, and we'll, we'll just leave it at that just now. We can add other parameters in a second. So the position of it is the position of cubes, transform dot position, pause dot, y is going to be new value and then cube dot transform dot position equals pause and that's our that's how we do it so we uh, grab the position of or we we assign the position of the cube to our temporary variable here we set the value the y value to be the slider value and then we reassign it back to the transformations position so now in our view model we are going to have to, we now have a slot here for our cube. So we drag our cube in there. So when we run this, um, well, a couple of changes first of all. Uh, it defaults to zero. So we're gonna default it to zero as well. So the default value when you start the game is gonna be one. We wanna default it to zero because the, the cube is gonna be at position zero. So this slider, this, U, this part of the UI, is going to control the height of this in-game object. There you go, just like that.